Islam. Rise, 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 rise of Islam. Rise. We are stronger together, united as one. Oh my. Fall of Persia. Persia was a very strong empire, but the Persian rulers were very greedy. They started to destroy their own brothers for power, and they created many problems in their country. And most especially, they were not giving any freedom to their people. So, a lot of the Persian people started to like the Islamic laws. That's why the Persian king. Did not like the Muslims at all. Before the Battle of Yarmouk, the very long-time enemies, the Romans and the Persians, united together to become friends. So, the Roman King Heraclius's granddaughter and the ten-year-old Persian king Yazdegerd III got married. To destroy the Muslims, the Persians built a very large army with one hundred thousand soldiers. When Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala saw that both the Roman and the Persian got together, he realized that the Muslims needed two strong armies, one for the Battle of Yarmouk and the other one to stop the Persian Empire. Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala planned to use all of his army power to stop the very strong Roman army, and for Persia. He focused on all the small tribes in Arabia and united them to protect Islam. He chose Sadr ad-Din Taala as their leader, who was a Quraysh, the Makkah's Muslim, and the seventh person to become a Muslim. With the help of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Sadr ad-Din Taala could unite different tribes of Arabia to stop the Persian soldiers. Sadr ad-Din Taala took his small army and started to move to the Persian border to protect the border town new Muslims. Sadr ad-Din Taala did not have a lot of experience as commander in chief, so from Medina, Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala was giving every direction to Sadr ad-Din Taala and his army. Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala did not want to start any battle with the Persians at that time. Because at that time, the Muslims needed more soldiers in Yarmouk to stop the big Roman army, so he advised Sadr ad-Din Taala to delay their time by having lots of meetings with the Persians. With Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's blessings, by this time, the Muslims already won the Yarmouk battle. Then. Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala slowly started to move some of the Muslim soldiers from Yarmouk to the Persian town in Kadisia, present-day close to Kufa in Iraq. As Caliph Umar ad-Din Taala's great plan, the Muslims got three months to build a strong army with thirty thousand soldiers and eight thousand horses to stop Persia. But Persia was way more stronger than the Muslims. They had fifty thousand soldiers and twenty thousand horses and forty big elephants. The Persian soldiers had a very strong and thick war clothes and weapons. Four years after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's death. On November of 636, both sides were ready for the Battle of Kadisia. They both divided their strength into four groups. Persia started the battle by trying to attack the Muslims with big elephants and large horse groups and destroyed lots of Muslim soldiers. On the second day, the Persian elephants were in the back. So the Muslims attacked first. By this time, Al Qaqar ad-Din Taala and his army came from Yarmouk, Syria, to join this battle. He had a very smart idea. He divided his soldiers into many small groups 
and told them to join the battle group by group. Seeing this, the Persians got scared. They thought lots of Muslim soldiers were coming to join the battle. The smart Muslim general, Al-Qaqaradin Ta'ala, covered his camels to look like a big, scary animal. Seeing that, the Persian horses got scared to see that scary, fake animal. So, the Persians did bad on that day. On the third day, the Persians attacked with their heavy arrows and destroyed many Muslim soldiers. Then, attacked harder with their elephants and horses. It made the Muslims very weak. Then, the Muslims tried to destroy the elephant. At one point, they were able to destroy some of their elephants. Seeing that, the other elephants got scared and started to run away from the battlefield. On the way, they destroyed lots of their own Persian soldiers. It was a very bad day for both sides. Lots of soldiers died on that day. On the fourth day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a huge sandstorm. At morning, Al-Qaqaradin Ta'ala took a strong horse group and suddenly attacked the center and destroyed the Persian main commander-in-chief, Rustam. By noon, the Persian army were destroyed by the brave Muslims and they started to run away from the battlefield. The Muslims lost around 10,000 soldiers and the Persians lost around 25,000 soldiers in that battle. It was a great victory for the Muslims. Basically, after that battle, Persia lost Iraq and the Muslims could give the freedom of religion to the Iraqi people.